remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A Texas judge has sided with the hospital that plans to remove an 11-month-old girl from life support after her mother disagreed with doctors who say that the little girl is in pain and her condition will never improve. Trinity Lewis had asked Judge Sandy Bryan Marion to issue an injunction in Tarrant County District Court to ensure that Cook Children's Medical Center doesn't end her daughter Tinsley Lewis's life-sustaining treatment. Texas Right to Life, an anti-abortion group that opposes the 10-day rule and has been advocating for Tinsley, said the girl's mother will appeal the judge's decision. Doctors at the Fort Worth Hospital had planned to remove Tinsley from life support November 10th after invoking Texas's 10-day rule, which can be employed when a family member disagrees with doctors who say life-sustaining treatment should be stopped. The law stipulates that if a hospital's ethics committee agrees with doctors, treatment can be withdrawn within 10 days if a new provider can't be found to take the patient. Hospital officials have said they've reached out to more than 20 facilities to see if one would take Tinsley, but all agree that further care is futile. Groups including Texas's Right to Life have also been trying to find a facility to take her. Tinsley has been at Cook Children's since her premature birth. The hospital said that she has a rare heart defect and suffers from chronic lung disease and severe chronic high blood pressure. She hasn't come off a ventilator since going into respiratory arrest in early July and requires full respiratory cardiac support, deep sedation, and to be medically paralyzed. The hospital said doctors believe she's suffering. But her mother said that Tinsley has likes and dislikes, describing her as sassy. She also said that the little girl likes the musical Trolls, and she cries when it ends. She said that Tinsley doesn't like to have her hat brushed either. So the mother is clearly convinced that her daughter has a lot of living to do, and she doesn't want to take her off life support. She said that she wants to be the one to make the decision. What do y'all think about that? This is a hard one for me, y'all. This is very, very hard. And I chalk it up to a personal choice. Had it been me, and I know this is a big if, but if it was me, as much as I love my son and my daughter, had they experienced that much trauma and pain in their early days? We're talking like since birth and subsequently 11 straight months. And the doctors were like, look, her quality of life is not there. It'll never be there. And we don't even foresee her making it. We don't foresee him making it. I could not live with that. I would not be okay with that. I would have to say my goodbyes. I don't believe in uh, people living in pain for the sake of others. I don't believe in that. Even if it was me, I've instructed my family, do not have me laying up in some type of vegetable state. You know, if all hope is gone, you know, say your goodbyes, I'll be at peace with that. But that is a very difficult thing to go through. And I think sometimes we feel like if we do pull the plug, somehow we'll be the blame for their death. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because I've actually seen people come out of life support, come off that life support. When the doctor said it's over and told the family, look, okay, y'all need to start trying to decide what y'all are going to do. 
and half the family was for, half the family was against. When I say family, I mean the children. Four was for, four was against. And perhaps a week later, mama raised up. Now, she was dead a year later, but they got an extra year with their mother, an extra year of being able to ask those tough questions and create memories. But one could also argue that their mother had an extra year of pain. So it's, it comes down to a personal choice. I feel sorry for the mother. The rest of the family, they going through, that's, that's a tough one right there, that's tough. So, in any event, what do y'all think? What do y'all think should happen here? Um, man, to the family, salute, hold your head, prayers going up. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.